It's hard to imagine it now, but this summer farm workers will once again be subjected to soaring temperatures that oftentimes have led to heat stroke or even death. But as 23 ABC's Veronica Acosta tells us, one Kern County native is out to get rid of that possibility. Veronica? Triple digit temperatures in the Central Valley are expected, and although there haven't been instances of farm worker deaths due to heat in recent years, the possibility was enough for one teenager to try and make a change. Their days are long, their work tedious, and sometimes dangerous. I heard their stories of, you know, swollen backs and, you know, how their feet would ache after work and just the kind of brutal conditions that they worked in, especially back then. Faith Flores grew up in the farming community of Shafter. I still feel very strongly about my roots in a family that's all too familiar with working in the fields. My grandma Stella, she picked roses, cotton, almonds, uh, and then my papa, her son, went on to again pick roses, almonds, and cotton. And all too familiar with the risks that come with the job. The teen now setting out to make a change at farms in the Central Valley. I don't want to hear about, you know, a farm worker that died because they were too far away from water and shade. By bringing to life an app that would let farm workers know when they could possibly be in danger. The application is ultimately designed to prevent instances of heat stroke amongst agricultural workers. The application is called calor. Calor, the Spanish word for heat. For Faith, the creation of the app began simply with an idea. It definitely wasn't an overnight thing. Later becoming more of a reality when she submitted that idea to the USC Viterbi School of Engineering, where a group of grad students unanimously chose to take on the project. I went into it super passionate. Several questions, however, needing to be answered before the execution. Where are we going to get the weather data from? How are we going to, like, sponsor the GPS tracking? How are we going to make this a hotline? Initially, the group wanted to launch the app on smartphones, trying to make it as accessible to farm workers as possible. Farmers didn't want that. They didn't want farm workers to have their phones in the fields while they were working because they thought it would be a distraction. So they switched their attention to something different, something that had the ability to detect someone's body heat and send alerts, but wouldn't necessarily be distracting. Something like an Apple Watch. It kind of flows perfectly with what we're aiming to do with the app. The cost of Apple Watch is another hurdle the group had to overcome. We wouldn't be planning to make the farm workers pay that money. The plan? To have farmers buy the Apple Watches for their workers that they would then share on different shifts, eventually helping farmers lower the insurance rate they pay for each worker. And after the logistics of what was going into the app was figured out, it was time to focus on how they were going to pay for the development of the software. Finally deciding on crowdfunding. I had a pretty ambitious goal of $60,000. And just like that, more than $60,000 flowed in in just a few short months. It was quicker than I expected. With donations from not only people she knew. I made sure to like blast out like basically emails with the link to basically every person I know. But even from celebrities she admires, like Lin-Manuel Miranda, Gina Rodriguez, and Eva Longoria. And from there, it really picked up. The plan so successful, three farms in Kern County already agreeing to partner with Faith to provide the technology with the app to their workers. But the work, as far as Faith is concerned, isn't finished just yet. I do want to expand the project outward and make sure that more farm workers have access to it. Those stories and memories she has from her own family in the back of her mind throughout the entire process. My papa has also told me stories of, you know, some of his friends just passing out in the fields, um, not being able to, you know, get shade or water because it's so far away. Only making her more determined to finish the app and save as many lives as possible. The Calor app is expected to launch this summer around June or July. The three small, smaller scale farms in Kern County that have already agreed to use the app will be the first to try out the technology. Reporting in studio, Veronica Acosta, 23 ABC News. All right, Veronica.